Hey, welcome back everybody. Rob here, continuing the Final Fantasy VI Let's Play. So we are snooping around in this mansion here. And the music's changed, so... Ah. Oh, is that you, Locke? It's been a while. Oh, oh that. Don't worry, your treasure's quite safe. Okay, you creepy-ass old man. Who is this? I use some herbs to put her in the suspended animation. She won't age a day. That's what you wanted, right? Had to use my herbs, I did. Okay, that's uh, more than a little creepy. Rachel. You mean those herbs actually saved her? Of course, the love of your life will sleep here like this forever. Why is he laughing like that? What if there were some way to call her back? If you could call her back, she'd come back. I'm sure you'll find something that'll bring her around. The fuck is with this guy? Okay, he's kind of coming off as kind of a perv. I failed her. He's a little hard on himself. That's not quite entirely fair. Okay, so, I mean, I guess that's enough for that creepy fucker. Let's make our way out of here. You know, you kind of have to wonder what he's uh, been doing all this time to keep himself, you know... Uh, alert while watching over this young woman but i'm gonna just stop it right there now kind of in the, my downtime there while uh, i edited it, edited it out i did some leveling up sabin is up to level 15 now we learned fire dance i was snooping around in the option or not options but the, the status menu and stuff and i jotted down his other attacks and stuff i didn't know i had already had suplex and aura bolt uh two other blitzes so um, I'll go ahead and demonstrate that here soon along with the new tool that we picked up for Edgar, which is the drill and the flash, which the flash does some pretty decent damage. Uh, that's going to be a pretty nifty item. So let's see, I guess from what everyone was saying, that flash of light, the ghost up and disappeared and headed south for G-Door. So I guess that's where we're going to be heading after I uh, heal up and save it here. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. Okay, so just a second everybody, I may have spoken a little bit too soon. We're going to take a little side step over here. Now, remember when I was talking to that guy in the town just right there in Collingen? He said his crazy ass brother was trying to build this thing, this coliseum, this... Yeah. Anyways, we're going to go pay that guy a little bit of a visit here. Now, I'm not sure if these wolf guys, these red fangs are new enemies. So I'm just going to go ahead and cl include them in the video here just so you guys can get a glimpse of them. So let's try one of our blitzes. We're going to do suplex. So it's triangle, square, up, down, X. Let's see him fuck some... What? Oh, come on, really? Okay, then we'll do the flash instead. Show flash. Three hundred and twenty, not bad. And I believe the the crossbow is only doing like two hundred and ten, two hundred and seventy, I think, something like that, somewhere in that range for damage. So the flash is is uh, a little bit more powerful. Okay, so I take it that's the Colosseum, but ah, there we go. Okay, so hopefully this time, now. Uh, be a good opportunity to steal from that vulture because he should they usually have potions like that so let's try his uh, suplex one more time so triangle square up down X suplex there we go it's your blams not bad all right we're also gonna test out the drill Yeah, since we don't have Celis with the group, that's why I want to have uh, 
lock still as much as he can. Get as many potions as he can because we're going to have to compensate for that. Uh, next chance I get, I'll test out Aura Bolt and Fire Dance for you guys. Let's head in here and talk to this guy real quick. can't let the world become too peaceful. People are at their best when they're at war. My Colosseum will be a monument to war. If I can ever get the help I need to finish it, that is. And we get a hero ring for all our trouble. Now apparently it's a... Uh, it's a, a ring that has the abilities of an atlas armlet, uh, atlas armlet and earrings combined. So uh, they obviously they work on all characters, but it's uh, best to put it on either, either Edgar or Gaul. So I went ahead and put it on Gaul because he could use the boost. Okay, so I guess we'll go ahead and head out here. make our way back down I guess and we'll cut through the desert now just a tip if you can find these guys name uh... okay, we'll head back down and if you happen to run into these guys called fossil things uh, I would recommend it because these guys you can get quite a bit of uh, cash for beating these guys so okay so we're gonna go ahead and try aura bolt here so it's gonna be down uh, diagonal to the left and then left so you're just gonna down and roll it to the left so let's try that aura bolt there we go you're just gonna have to input it uh, like fighting game style real simple oh and okay gal went up a level gal or gall or however you want to pronounce it so yeah, if we can find these fossil fang guys, they're pretty damn tough, but you can uh, either use like phoenix downs on them, that does some pretty decent damage. And you can get uh, about 1800 GP from these guys. So if you're low on cash, kind of like I am, it'd be a nifty place to level up and uh, pick those up while you're at it. Okay, so I've kind of st stooped around here in the desert, I haven't had the luck finding the uh, fossil fang guy but at least I can demonstrate the the fire dance for you guys so let's do that real quick it's gonna be left diagonal to the left down diagonal to the right and right so you're basically just gonna roll it from front to back from left to right so let's do that fire dance so let's see what this fucker can do oh nice you got like some shinobi ninja magic and he fucked them up royally, so that is going to be a really uh, important attack for later on. Um, just in general. I'm going to be probably using that quite a bit. Considering it seems to do quite a bit of damage for a, a large group, so... Definitely worth the effort to get Fossil Fang, I believe. That, that's the guy that I'm looking for, so you're going to want to hit him with your most powerful attacks. Like, uh, you know, of course, use a lock to steal Phoenix downs from him, and then use uh, Edgar's drill, uh, use Sabin, use his aura bolt. That is uh, really effective against this guy, so let's do that. Steal from him. Is it a revival? Okay, so. Okay, and Gaul's Templar is, is pretty effective too, so we'll use that. And then Aura Bolt, so... Drill. Nice, that wasn't as bad as I thought. So you get 126 experience points. Bam, see that 1800 GP? Pretty fucking sweet. So I just wanted to make sure to get that guy on screen, on camera, so I can show you guys. You can exploit that if you need the cash. The only problem is, is he takes a little bit to find. Um, but just keep in mind, you're right here by Figaro Castle. 
You can easily go in here, sleep for free in the inn, and uh, which is what I'm gonna do, and make sure to save it. Gaul's gonna definitely need it because he's a freaking zombie right about now. You know, and all, right over by the the um, the old guy that wanted to build a coliseum, there's a chocobo stable right there. If you want to just get the chocobo right all the way down to G door, if you want, or yeah, that's where I'm heading. Uh, you can cut a lot of the battles out of the way, but you might as well. I mean, get the points, get the the gold that you need. You know, it'd be worth it. But a lot of the uh, the battles and stuff, the the rages aren't really worth it. For Gaul, because I mean he's pretty damn badass really without them, so we can just kind of skip those for the most part. And even then, if I was going to be doing any level up, I would do it outside of the LP anyways. And uh, if there was anything relevant, I would mention it to you guys. So, so yeah, as we make our way over the G door, about the two main attacks you're going to be using the most are Flash for Edgar and Sabin's Fire Dance because I can easily mop the floor with these losers. So yeah, I'm not really sweating th these bad guys all that much. Okay, and then we got these mind candy guys. Let me see if uh, they have anything that's worth a damn. Got a tonic. They don't be seeming to they don't seem to be doing much damage, so And about the only thing you can steal from them is tonics. So I'm not too worried about these guys. And they got a soft, that's not bad. You know, there's a few enemies throughout here that uh, I believe monks that'll petrify you. I haven't bumped into any of them yet. Um, ooh, and Edgar gained a level. So that way, that you know, that I would recommend having items that protect against stone if you do bump into these guys, but I haven't seen them yet. So, knock on wood, hopefully I won't have to fight these guys. Oh, these guys seem new. Who the hell is that? Iron Fist, huh? You don't look so tough. Not when I use fire dance on you. And hit him with flash. He doesn't seem to do much damage either. He doesn't seem all that threatening. And I didn't even have to break a sweat. Not bad, not bad, all right. Continuing south, hopefully, son of a bitch. Okay, so yeah, I think this is it. I think this is what we're looking for. Hell yeah, all right. Okay, so let's see what this guy has to say here. Hey, dickface, this is Gidor, the westernmost town on the world map. Okay, good to know. Place doesn't look so bad. Got some nice boxes over here, nothing worth grabbing. It's a decent size, few buildings here and there, even though, I don't know, they use the same basic design for all these houses and stuff. The layout's a little bit of the same, but other than that, a lot of these towns all look the fucking same. Okay, so on that note, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and make this a quick episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, bye.